this is the Spanish Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. Lights out, and away we go indeed. Welcome, guys, to the Spanish Grand Prix. So as you can see, uh, yesterday we locked out the fourth row with Lewis Hamilton and George Russell starting today uh, in position number seven uh, in position number eight, although I think we are actually being overtaken by the Haas. Thankfully, it uh, looks like everybody's managed to get through the first couple of corners okay uh, without too much trouble. Zick DeVries actually had a lockup, but thankfully, I mean, there's nobody back there to begin with anyway. So uh, we'll put ERS Battle Assist on. Hopefully, we can get back ahead of K-Mag. That would be uh, ideal. Actually, George Russell's going to look around the outside uh, of Fernando Alonso at his own GP. He actually might be able to do it, as you can see, uh, having a compound advantage. And George Russell will move himself up into position number six, kind of. Kind of, sort of, and yeah, there you go. So Russell up to P6. Unfortunately, Hamilton uh, did lose that spot there to K-Mag, but still uh, a long way to go, and it's far from the end of the world. So good stuff there uh, from George. Not so great stuff there from Lewis, especially since he's got two upgrades uh, on the car, which George does not have. So uh, looking at the strategy today, as you can see, uh, soft medium or uh, soft hard in the first two stints, and then uh, doing a bit of a split. Russell will go medium, and Hamilton will go soft. So overall, uh, pretty clean start as Lewis Hamilton is once again under attack from S1 Ocon. But uh, yeah, we'll see how this race plays out. And there, the cars make contact. Who was at fault? Well, there'll definitely be fingers being pointed. No kidding. So I believe that was Kevin Magnuson. Actually, no, it was Nico Hulkenberg that locked up uh, and went into the back of S1 Ocon. And now a virtual safety car has been called. The question is, what do we do here? I don't really think that there's any viable strategy. I think but that we'll, we'll figure it out here, uh, if at all. So we'll back this up. I don't know. Ooh. Let's gamble. Well, I, I can't say that I'm much of a gambler, but this is definitely going to be a bit of a stretch. So we need... Oh. Well. Apologies. Well, great. Well, first pit stop underway here for Lewis Hamilton. As you can see, I mean, he did a really good job once. Uh, everything kind of got figured out. There's another mistake there from our pit crew. It's just going to cost us another two seconds. Sorry about that, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see where we come out. I mean... Uh, I'm not even going to look at the replay. Let's see. So George Russell is going to go by there on the left. Remember, both these guys technically have one pit stop left to go. Uh, although, as you can see, Russell had a, a pretty major tire where he disadvantaged. So Russell would have been six more seconds up the road. So he would have been 31 flat. So he'd have come out just ahead of Valtteri Botas. He would have been, like, right behind this queue had we not had that mistake in the pit lane. So uh, not quite sure what's going on with the pit crew today. Maybe it's some heat exhaustion from wearing the black. But, um, yeah, not good. The opportunity begging to be taken. to 12th and sniffing at those points places. Up that takes them to 7th place. They decide to give it a go. And as a result, 8th place is theirs. into ninth. Well, we'll see if our pit crew decides to fuck up now. I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised at this point. But hey, look at that. Magically, uh, all the errors after a good scolding have, uh, have gone away. And now George Russell is going to go to the end here. So uh, we should have been six seconds farther forward than what we were. Um, that has just not been the case, and uh, now we're, we're going to be, I think we'll be lucky just to get inside the points. So, uh, we'll be re-emerging here just ahead of the Red Bull of Max Verstappen, so that's not going to help uh, with our tire warming situation. Hopefully, uh, the Dutchman is brought in here sooner rather than later, but obviously, yeah, not, to, not, not going to plan, to say the least. 20 laps to go here in this race. Lewis Hamilton is in for his final pit stop of this race, and, uh... Good grief. Well... That's the uh, that's three of four pit stops today that they've had a fuck up of some sort and that just cost Lewis Hamilton another four seconds. Um, great. So Hamilton thankfully will reemerge by himself uh, in position number seven. But um, yeah, I will be having a stern talking to to the pit crew uh, after this race. And they just can't keep on the track. Perhaps a little lapse in concentration, maybe. Not quite sure uh, what happened over Versta or to Verstappen over the last couple of races, but Verstappen uh, making a statement here today uh, to all of his compatriots. Max Verstappen, at the place where he won all those years ago to kick off his incredible Red Bull career, wins the Spanish Grand Prix. Leclerc will come home P2. Sainz will just Max barely hold up Sergio Perez uh, for P3. And today's winner. Yeah, there you go. And there 
it is, the Dutchman, Max Verstappen, has taken first. I don't think there was a single second of that race where they didn't believe they'd win it. Well, the uh, the line is back on top. So uh, eight races, eight podiums, a sixth race win uh, on the season. Not quite sure what happened with him uh, over the course of, uh, of those last two races where he was really nowhere uh, in terms of fighting for the win, but the Dutchman has returned uh, to the top step of the podium. Sergio Perez, uh, a bit of a lackluster race today, was able to ultimately steal fast slap there at the end uh, and get one more bonus point, but ultimately uh, P4 is a bit cheap there uh, for the Mexican driver. Uh, Charles Leclerc comes home P2, uh, another second place finish thus far this season, uh, and I'm sure he'll be looking to improve that going forward as uh, he draws with an 11 of Sergio Perez uh, for P2 in the Drivers' Championship. Fernando Alonso, uh, P4 in the standings after today. P5 uh, on the track in the highest finishing Aston Martin in front of his home crowd. Uh, he remains kind of in no man's land as Carlos Sainz uh, actually was able to close the gap up to the Spaniard as uh, they are now 11 points separating uh, for P4. Lewis Hamilton picks up six. Lance Stroll picks up eight to move within one of the Englishman. George Russell picks up two after admittedly was a pretty challenging day, uh, not only strategically, but in terms uh, of our pit crew performance. Pierre Gasly picks up four points, and then Espen Ocon fails to score with Kevin Magnussen picking up one and moving himself up in a 12th ahead of Lando Norris. So in the constructors, uh, once again, Red Bull have uh, the best weekend of everybody. They pick up 38 to extend their, their advantage uh, by five points over Ferrari. That gap currently sits at 102 um, heading into uh, the, uh, you know, the, the ninth race uh, of the season. Aston Martin pick up 18, and we pick up 8, with Alpine picking up 4, and Haas picking up 1. Well, Max Verstappen can add yet another podium to his already impressive record. Six wins now in this season, they're not flagging. A mighty impressive victory. And by the looks of things here in Barcelona, the party's only just beginning.